Here's a question on why are no contest clauses unenforceable here in Florida? I did a video earlier on the interorum or the no contest clause, and I mentioned that they're not uh, enforceable in Florida. So this person's asking why not? I agree that it sounds like a good idea. Like, listen, if you're going to be a pain in the ass and complain about what I'm giving you, then take nothing. So I, I think conceptually that makes sense. But the rub is that there are legitimate um, challenges or contests to a will or trust. Sometimes people create a will or a trust when they have lost capacity. They have dementia and it's gotten far enough down the road that they are not legally capable of making decisions when it comes to their estate plan. So that can be a challenge. There is also undue influence or coercion. Oftentimes we see that where, you know, son or daughter is taking care of mom or dad and they live with, uh, mom and dad live with them and they basically either give them the guilt trip or the flat out threat of like, either you leave me everything because I'm taking care of you or, you know, I'm going to go drop you off under the bridge and uh, let you rot. So sometimes there are legitimate challenges to estate plans. I typically talk about how to keep your plan from being challenged or uh, at least the challenge not being successful against your plan. But let's be honest, challenges are there for a reason and oftentimes uh, they are warranted, they are valid. So if we made a blanket statement that anybody who challenged anything would not receive anything at all uh, within the distribution scheme, then it would prevent people from making valid legal challenges. And as a public policy matter, uh, the state of Florida has decided that it doesn't want to limit or hinder people from making a valid legal claim because they are uh, concerned or worried that they're going to get cut out if they uh, raise a challenge. So that's the answer. May not be great, but it's the right one. Have a great day.